Do you use Tinkercad to design your 3D prints? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you a few tips and tricks. Tinkercad Tips and Tricks is brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. In this episode, I'll talk about how you can share your designs with the community. Tinkercad is a community that allows you to share your designs real easy. So here's my Tinkercad profile, and here's three designs I have, an Arduino, a bracket, and a fidget spinner that I showed in our previous tips and tricks. So this particular Arduino I found from the community. I just went up to the search box at the top, and I typed Arduino. And when you do that, all the names of users who have Arduino in their name show up first, but after that are all the designs that are named Arduino in some way, shape, or form. And there's a whole bunch here. Some are cases, some are actual modules, which is what I wanted. And I found this one right here. Now, it turns out this is just a scan. And I don't know how they did this, but they did a great job scanning it in. But I can't break it down. I wanted one that I could break down and modify. So I found this one here. This is the Arduino that was built with blocks. So I click on it. And now this button shows up that says Copy and Tanker. Because this is a public design. So I click on it. And now it shows up in my Tinkercad screen as a copy of that design. And because this was built with blocks, I can ungroup it and modify it however I want. So this is what I wanted. So now I got one that's a scan version I can't change and one that I can modify. So this is very handy. It saves me a lot of time if I want to package an Arduino into a design. I now have one that I can use and then I can modify it maybe to fit the Arduino that I'm using. Maybe if there's something different. And after I'm done, it shows up in my Tinkercad right next to the one that I got before, the scan version. And then right next to it is this cluster stand I did for somebody. But let's say I want to share a design. And this fidget spinner that I did in a previous tips and tricks is one I'm willing to share. And actually I did. So I click on the gear where it says properties. And all the properties come up where I give it its name, a description, tags maybe to make it easier to find. But here's the, the key. It defaults to private but I just changed it to public and that means it's viewable and discoverable by everyone and then I can set the license the open source license for it so that's all you gotta do is just go into your design and change that and then once that's done you can click on it and this is how you can really share it with your community so they don't even have to search you can take this link that's part of its main page and you can click on embed and now you can copy and paste this embed code right into a website or you can uh, click on tweet and you can tweet out the link to it there's also a Facebook one and in addition to that there's one to send it right to Thingiverse so you can share the design to Thingiverse I don't use this one a whole lot but it's it's something you can do so now once this is available, notice I've spelled it wrong, not F-I-D-G-E-T. I spelled it F-I-G-E-T just to make it easier to find because if I type the wrong spelling here, which is the way mine is spelled, now when I search, I don't get a ton of fidget spinners. There's only like six of them that have used the same wrong spelling. And there my, there's mine right there in the top three. So now it's easier to find by giving it this strange name. You don't have to do that if you want to make it, you know, easier to find but now once someone wants this they just click on it and just like I did with the Arduino the button shows up now this says just tinker this because it's my design normally it would say copy and tinker this so they could click on that and now they have my design and they can modify and do what they want with it so that's how you can share and then there's also a link down here that they can use to share it with somebody else or tweet it to somebody say here's what I found so it's very very handy and very easy to share so there you have it a little helpful tip or trick to learning Tinkercad. So if you like this, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to check out some of my other videos, just click on them over here. Want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon. If nothing else, click on my logo and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.